2013 has been one of the best seasons in Elmira soccer history. A 15-1 record and a number 12 ranking in the state is something teams only dream about. That big season on the line tonight in the state playoffs. Elmira versus number 2 North Rockland. State Regionals down at Vestal tonight. First half 1-0 Elmira. That's until Nicole Elmer on the free kick. And this one's a bullet in the back of the neck. We're tying at 1. The Rock keeps pushing. Naya Rivera on the breakaway has a chance here, but look at the save by Elmira goalie Taylor White. What an effort right there. Later in the game, the Rock laying the smack down. Juliana Cabrera, she's looking for Miguel, but gets a home run anyway. Shoots and scores. It's 2-1. to one. Elmira trying to get that ball in North Rockland's end all night long, but they were just too tough and too fast. The season comes to an end for Elmira. They fall 4-1. to one. North Rockland is now 18-0-1 on the season. Elmira Heights native and former MLB draft pick Matt Birch will come back to the Elmira Pioneers as manager along with his staff next season. Also back is Archie McNellis and Brian Hill who are also part of that solid team in 2013. Season tickets, get this, they're on sale right now. Visit ElmiraPioneers.com for more information and make sure to check out some Birchy ball come next year. Well, sticking with the colleges, Elmira men's hockey player Jared Ten Van Holt is the ECAC West Player of the Week. The sophomore from Vancouver registered two goals and two assists over the weekend. Soaring Eagles are 1-1 one one on the season. They travel to Utica on Friday night. Well, when you think about great players in Syracuse football history, it's hard to leave out Donovan McNabb. His number five jersey was retired on Saturday at the Carrier Dome, and we got the chance to talk about the future. After Donovan's ceremony at halftime of the Orange's 13-0 win over Wake Forest, he took a moment to talk to us about the quarterback of today. That's Terrell Hunt. And if anyone's excited about the Cuse's future, oh yeah, it's Donovan. You have a young quarterback in Terrell Hunt who will continue to keep that, that torch going. So uh, I'm excited about Syracuse football. I'm excited about being a part of, of something special with, with Don McPherson, and Larry Zonka, and all these great names, and obviously 44. Basketball, C.J. Fair is on the Oscar Robertson watch list, and this is a pretty big deal. Fair is one of 15 players in the country for that award, which honors the nation's top Division I player. C.J., he's already the ACC preseason player of the year, and he averaged 14, averaged 14 and a half points and five boards a game last year. The Orange opened up Friday night versus Cornell at the Dome. And we've got to give a shout out to WNY TV sports intern Taylor State on her first day with us here at the studio. And this is Taylor in a softball picture with her dad from last summer. Keep up the great work and chase down that dream. Taylor, great person. Great having her in here today. Always nice to uh, actually a horsehead's person as well. So I, I love that connection as well. Yeah, well, that's great. I didn't know she was an intern. Yeah, well, she's shadow for the day, but officially intern we'll put in it all right you know also a big harry potter fan don't mean to break the code a little bit but harry potter's great <laughs> anytime harry potter they got quidditch right quidditch i mean uh, dumbledore's in the house <laughs> right go. that's right movie right dumbledore. i think so dumbledore right yeah. yes okay. dumbledore's good